So this video is going to show you how to mine garlic coin using just your processor. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need to do is get a garlic coin wallet address. So if you don't have a wallet yet, you can create one at a place like breadbox.xyz. doesn't really matter where you create your uh, wallet. This whole thing's going to work the same. So I'll log into the wallet that I've already created. And at the top here, you're going to see what my current balance is in garlic. Farther down, we have our addresses, and then you have where all the garlic coins were received from. So you can create a new address if you want, but really any of your receiving addresses will work just fine. So just um, copy it so that you have it ready for later, because we're going to need it when we actually set up our miner. So the next thing to do is actually download the miner we're going to use. So it's this one called CPU Miner. I'll link you to it in the description, so you can just click on this one to download it. If you're watching this in the future, it might be a newer version, but the commands should all be the same for it. So just download that, and in a second we're going to run it. The last thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to choose your pool. Um, this one is the bakery, so this is the address for it, and we're going to be using that. If you have a different pool, then you can just replace this address with the address of your pool, and then everything else should work about the same. So now that we have all this information, we're actually ready to mine. So I'm going to go here. So I have the CPU miner downloaded right here. So first thing to do is extract it. So now we can actually set up the miner to run using your wallet address and the pool you've chosen. So to do that, we can create a, another batch file. Like you can also edit this one if you want to, but to create a new one, just right click, say new, go to text document, and then name it something like garlic.bat. So we're just making this text file into a script, essentially, that will run all these commands for you so you don't have to type them in every time. So just hit yes at the error here, and then right click on it to say edit, and then we're gonna put in the commands we need. I already have them saved right here. Um, so I'm just gonna copy and paste them over, but essentially the first part is which of these programs you want to run. So I am I have a Core i7 in here, so that's why I selected that one. Uh, the next thing is the algorithm you're running. So I'm running script, and the 4096 is the difficulty, so you can just leave that the same. Script is what you need for garlic coin. Then this is the address of your pool. So if you're using a different pool, you would replace just this part with the address of your pool. It's probably still using the same port, but if it's not, it will tell you. So if it's using a different one, it would tell you to change this. Then just put a dash U and then your wallet address. And I'm gonna copy and paste this in the description so you can just copy and paste it too. And I left this hanging dash P here, but it doesn't need it. That's for a password and this is a passwordless pool. So, um, so now we're all good to just copy this into the batch file and I'm just going to save it and now we just double click on it to run. So it's going to take a little while because you're mining with a CPU to see your first accept accepted shares so just give it like 5-10 minutes um, to see when you get your first share to see if it's accepted or declined and that will give you an idea of if you need to change anything or fix anything so as long as it says yes after one of the shares accepted, then you're good to go. So I'll wait a few minutes and I'll show you what that looks like. So now you can see here that I have an accepted share where it says yes. That means that I'm gonna get a piece of the next payout. So as long as you have an accepted share in each block, then you'll get part of the payout. So that's how to mine garlic coin using your processor. If you have any questions about garlic coin, I'm gonna link you to their Discord in the description and then also the subreddit, um, but you're probably gonna get a little more helpful solutions for mining from the Discord. So that's a pretty good one to use. Garlic coin is still a work in progress, so in the future there's gonna be a lot more pools, a lot more wallets, all kinds of functionality for you to use. So uh, we're just in the beginning right now, but it's gonna be pretty cool.